What's up guys, Thomas Mott here. Welcome into the Thomas Mott Show from Norway. Yes, if you're brand new to the channel, this is not how it normally looks. I'm not normally on my cell phone here in a little tiny apartment complex in Europe. As I mentioned in a video a couple of days ago on the Thomas Mott Show, I was going out of town. I'm in Norway for a week, but there's been some interesting, I guess, news popping out there in Philadelphia Eagle Land. I want to at least jump on here and give you guys my thoughts on this because this Lamar Jackson stuff, if you don't know what I'm talking about, hang on. We're going to talk about it here uh, in just a couple of seconds. But if you do know what I'm talking about, the Lamar Jackson to Philadelphia, do we call it a hype train? It's getting a little bit bizarre, and I think the Eagles would be really ridiculous and probably kind of dumb to go ahead and make a move like this. We'll jump into that here uh, in just one second. First, if you're new to the channel, again, normally I'm in my nice studio, I am have a nice camera, microphone, it doesn't look like this, so sorry about that. But if you guys like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and get ready for Eagles football on Monday night against the Minnesota Vikings. We'll have a full injury report update here uh, towards the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so this whole thing comes from one reporter named Hassam Patel, I think that's how you say his last name, from Five Reason Sports Network. And so you can take this report for what it is. This is not Adam Schefter. This is not you know, Ian Rappaport. Not any of the serious actual NFL breaking news reporters out there in the National Football League. And so you can only take this for what it is. But it centers around Lamar Jackson. And the first part of the story talks about how ESPN's Chris Mortensen reported that the Ravens offered the former MVP a six-year deal, quote, could be worth up to $290 million. Only 133 was fully guaranteed. Lamar, who of course represents himself. He turned that deal down, going to play out the final year of his contract and then go into free agency next year, either getting even more money than he could have with the Baltimore Ravens or going somewhere else. Hence why we're talking about him, because it could be to Philadelphia. Now, if you scroll down to where the meat potatoes of this article is, it talks about what's next for Lamar. And this gets into where essentially he could go ahead and play. Let's just go ahead and read this quote for you. Quote, Jackson does have a list of teams he would be interested in going to. Per source, that list includes the Detroit Lions, kind of odd there, Miami Dolphins, and there it is, the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, Detroit is interesting. I, we at least mentioned this in terms of a national story here. Detroit is a very interesting choice. The Dolphins, I guess, make sense because they're loaded and, you know, Tua could be good, Tua could, could, could be bad. Lamar has ties to South Florida, and so the Dolphins is kind of the real storyline here if you're looking at which one he would pick out of the three. But before we get to Philadelphia, Detroit is very interesting. I, I don't see Detroit as being a hot spot for Action Jackson. I think Lamar wants to go to a bigger market. I think Mar wants to go to a football team that's a little more of a winning pedigree, or a pedigree, excuse me. If he were to pick Detroit, he must, I guess, love Dan Campbell or love DeAndre Swift or love what they're building there. I think Detroit is on the up and up, but I don't think that he's a spot for Lamar Jackson, uh, regardless of if they have the money to go ahead and make the move. Philadelphia, though, is the reason we're talking about this, and this, to me, would be a really, really strange move. Here's what it says, though. Quote, the Philadelphia Eagles could have Jalen Hurts as their current quarterback, but they might not be uh, they might not be sold just yet. The Eagles are two good, very good tackles that can handle their own in the trenches, a solid run game, a dominant receiver in A.J. Brown, and a potential top-five defense in the NFL. Furthermore, the Eagles have the draft capital to lure the Ravens into a sign-and-trade deal, end quote. Okay, a couple of things here. One, this would be a disastrous trade for the Philadelphia Eagles. This is not an anti-Lamar Jackson rant at all. Lamar Jackson is great. I think Lamar Jackson is one of the better young quarterbacks in the National Football League. You can win with Lamar Jackson. Now, he does have kind of a rough playoff history, but I think in the right offense, with the right defense, you know, you know all, all things considered, he's definitely one of the better quarterbacks in the National Football League. The problem is... Philadelphia having to get to a point where they feel like they need to go ahead and trade for Lamar Jackson. You've got to feel like Jalen Hurts is absolutely trash, which they don't feel like that right now. Trust me. you got to be done with Jalen Hurts and so bought into Lamar Jackson, you're willing to give up the sun, moon, and stars to go ahead and get him. And that's why this trade would be a disaster. Do you really realize what the Philadelphia Eagles would have to give up to go and get Lamar Jackson? It would be at least four first-round draft picks. You take the Russell Wilson deal... You take his $290 million guaranteed, or $250 million guaranteed, and you make it bigger. You make it bigger because Russell Wilson's been in the league for over 10 years, and Lamar Jackson is still very much a young quarterback waiting for that first big giant contract. You would be giving up so much future draft capital, so much future money that this football team would not be able to, I think, rebound from it. I think you would put all of your eggs in the Lamar Jackson basket, and if it didn't work out then you're stuck with Lamar Jackson for, what, five, six, seven years, and you're going to have no first-round draft picks. Again, you'd have to be so desperate to go ahead and do this. It just doesn't, to me, make a lot of sense. If you want to get Lamar Jackson, you wait for free agency, and you hope that no one trades for him before the trade deadline if you're really that desperate for the quarterback. But I'm not. And I think a trade deadline move... Eight weeks into the season, what mean what? Is Philadelphia that bad to where they think they can turn their season around with Lamar Jackson? It just doesn't make a lot of sense. I do not see it happening at all. I could see Tua and the Dolphins, you know, coming to an end. I think Tua is definitely a worse quarterback than Jalen Hurts. Obviously, we're talking about the Philadelphia Eagles a lot in this channel. A little bit biased here as an Eagle fan, but I do think that Hurts is a lot bigger of a potential. But to get to a point where you are letting go of Jalen Hurts, where you are 
uh, you know, saying that you got to go ahead and give up four first round draft picks to get the guy to me is just way too much to go ahead uh, and nab. And so I'm out on this whole Lamar Jackson stuff. It's also a rumor. Let's just be real. I'm flattered he thinks Philadelphia will be one of his landing spots. It shows you that, you know, myself and the rest of the Philadelphia media understand that the Eagles are really, really good. A lot of people in the National Football League don't quite understand how great Philadelphia is right now. Lamar, you know, when looking around, sees a team that's stacked both offensively and defensively. And so to me, that's good overall. But the odds of him going to Philadelphia, guys, it's slim to none. It's not going to happen. And if you're getting to that point, again, you're at a point where the Eagles are you know, bad this year. I mean, they're really bad this year if they're making a trade or they absolutely hate Jalen Hurts this year, which also means they're bad to the point that they want to sign him uh, during the regular season. So no thanks very much. No thanks. I am out on that. Uh, okay, before we go ahead and end this short little pop-up video here on a Sunday morning, uh, Minnesota Vikings, Eagles Week 2 injury report. Andre Booth is the only player for the Vikings who is out. The rookie cornerback uh, has a quad injury, and so he, of course, did not practice the last couple of days. He will be out officially with an injury. Uh, they're starting safety. I believe the safety out of Georgia. I think it's Lewis uh, Sign or Kine, if you say his last name. He is going to make his starting debut in the National Football League, at least his league debut, because he did not play there in Week 1. Other than that, they are pretty much fully healthy, and the Eagles are fully healthy. The only person even on the injury report was Jack Stoll, who had just kind of a little ankle tweak. He was limited this week, but it's good to go. Uh, the rest of the Eagles had rest days, and so no issues there. They're going to be just fine. Landon Dickerson had a little bit of an illness, non-COVID related. He's back from that. He'll be fine. He'll be starting uh, at left guard for the Philadelphia Eagles. There you go. A shorter video again in Norway. Pop-up video here on the Thomas Mott Show. Wanted to give you guys my thoughts uh, on this whole Lamar Jackson trade drama. I think you're going to see a lot of bloviation about it the next couple of days. I wouldn't buy much into it. I think Lamar is going to play out the final year of his deal and then go sign somewhere for a boatload of money. And my hope is that Philadelphia Eagles are giving Jalen Hurts that kind of money, or at least a little bit less. But still, Jalen Hurts, four-string uh, quarterback, starting quarterback money, and not having to abandon the Jalen Hurts project and going out and getting a guy like like Lamar Jackson. All right, there you go. Jump it on here. Give the video a thumbs up. Go Birds tomorrow. We'll try and break down the Birds game uh, uh, here on the Thomas Mott Show. Hopefully they win. We'll see what happens. That's it. Enjoy the rest of your day.